Good day, fellow learners. This is your mentor, your fact check buddy, Ray Gapus, joining you for another teaching and learning session. This time around, we're going to talk about our pointers for the next generation NCLEX. And this is session number 15. So here we go. Join our hundreds and thousands of pastors from around the world who use our technology tools. Okay, here at Ray A. Gapus Review System. Give us a call or text at 0906-201-9383 or send me an email, info at rafsreview.com. So from all of those passers recently, let's learn from the experience of one of them. This time, let's be inspired by the story of another wonderful nurse, Kate Quadra USRN from Dr. Carlos S. Lantin College, who passed the next generation NCLEX RN in the state of New York. That's May 24, 2023. That is actually a, just a few days back. And the story of Kate is that she underwent our test preparations class almost 20 years ago for her Philippine licensure exam. And that was in 2004, I think. And now, 20 years after 2023, she passed her NCLEX RN test. Let's take a look at our exchange through our emails. And she has this letter of heartfelt gratitude with love and goosebumps na kalakir. So what she's saying is letter of, grat of heartfelt gratitude with love and goosebumps that went with the envelope or enclosed here with something to that effect. There is a ray. Sir, nakapas po ako. Isa po ako sa mga timmaat and dulpat ay na sir. You are my saving grace here on earth po talaga. Our AGAPAS review system has given me the proper and consistent mindset, solid guidance, factual and best research and flex concepts. Hindi agin agin laan. So what she's saying here is she passed the test. She's one of those coming from my pet class, which I labeled Maat and Dulpat. Well, actually, that's a pet name that we have in our local dialect in Ilocano, which simply means Dulpat means untidy. Okay, and she says, I am her saving grace. And what she loved the most is we give her well researched and flex concepts, not just spur of the moment concepts that some people would usually do while they're conducting test preparations classes. From bootcamp to concept mastery to my final quick fix session, finishing the course shells QBank and NGN videos, it was all worth it. After my quick fix session, I truly felt with goosebumps, sir, that I'm already ready for the exam. That's how greatly you have prepared me. I hope you remembered in the middle of our quick fix session, I suddenly had and thank you. Hindi na po ako nahiya sa moment na yon because I really felt yung parang divine intervention sa inyo. Alina, I felt the response. Your lectures during our quick fix and the core shells, NJ and videos were so reassuring for me na I na I'm on the right track and I'm already ready for the exam. Kaya na payakap ako, sir. Ay na. <laughs> okay, I know 100% believe that the core shell will be a hit. Total package, powerful tool for the NCLEX. Napakasulatin namin mga Ilocano, mga Pilipino nurses na nandyan to give more of yourself. May isip mo yan, sir, ay na. Ang yaman mo na. Pero grabe, nung nakita ko the entirety of the format, sir, alam ko, it will be for greatness. Isishare ko po ito sa lahat ng kilala ko. Alam ko na hindi ako mapapahiya. I'm so proud and thankful. Isa ko sa mga unang nakagamit. That's the Ray Gapo System for Shells. Ang functional concept mo po, sir, ang sistema ng pagkakaturo po, pati ng mga books mo, grabe ang absorption sa utak ko. Alam mo naman po, thunders na ako, pero pagdating sa bootcamp to the concept mastery, gumana ang natutulog kong brain. Salamat po. So what she's saying here is she's already of mature age, but the method of the system simplified everything for her that it remained in her mind. So it gets stumped in her brain, okay? So that's what practically she's saying. You know, I have searched and searched you sa Facebook para makapag-review ako sa'yo. Hanap ng hanap, sir, 2022 pa po. Pagkakuha ko ng aking ATT, ikaw na agad ang pumasok sa isip ko. Asan siya? Because I could not imagine passing my NCLEX without you. 
You are my soul and soul reviewer. It was always you, Sir Ray, who have been part of my nursing profession. You helped me achieve my PHRN way back 2004. That's what I'm saying, almost 20 years from each other. And now 2023, my USRN license. Sir Ray, please continue to live healthy. Stay as you are. Your sincerity, your humor, and wit have carried me on the days that was just so draining, hopeless, and stressful. Thank you for all the knowledge, guidance, time, and for the extra pounds because of all the food you've fed us. But most especially, I'm thankful for your heart. Greatness without heart is useless. Thank you, Paul, for giving us your heart. Yung hindi ka na uubos na papagod ka pero ang dami mo pa ding puso para sa amin na umaasa na mabago ang buhay niya. Your passion, your sincere heart has carried me up to where I am now. And makakaasa po kayo na lagi po po kayong dala-dala sa puso ko saan man po ako makarating. Masa kayo, napukulitin ko pa din po kayo for guidance. Hindi po ako makakalimot. Mahal na mahal po kita, Sir Ray. Sa so, RA Gapos team and all mentors, salamat po ng napakarami. Kate Campos Quadra, USRN, Proud Gapos Baby, Team Bagyo, Proud Team Dulpot, Team Mahat, <laughs> Nurse, na tinagalog ang NCLEX po, pero nakapasa. Well, that's her strategy. She translated the questions to her own ability by her own ability in Filipino or Tagalog so that she could very well dissect and analyze it and it worked. So there's no harm in that. That's her strategy. So this is her with a cute dog. Okay. And she says here to my family, prayer warriors, true friends, thank you for your support and for believing in me. Mama Mary, all angels and saints, Lord Almighty, salamat po to God be the greatest glory. And I say, Amen. Okay, so be a USRN, give us a call or an email through this details here and joins the hundred and join the hundreds and thousands of nurses who pass the NCLEX RN next generation format through the Ray Capo system. Now, the first question that you have to ask yourself is. What will I study for the test? Make sure you are asking from an expert who knows the test content. Well, it helps that you're asking friends who pass the test, but please don't ask the exact question. Ask the concepts and then study it. Because the recall of the question of your friend is based on their own interpretation, not based on the data that you're supposed to interpret by yourself okay so here are the things that i'd like to highlight at this point first you have your ventricular fibrillation notice the chaotic ecg reading in ventricular fibrillation now take note that ventricular fibrillation is the most dangerous type of arrhythmia and this can lead to asystole so therefore this is life-threatening this is fatal so if you're being asked to prioritize which client will you attend to first then attend to the patient with ventricular fibrillation if the patient is in the emergency room. Because by that time, you already have the equipment, the facility, and the human resources to attend to the patient's needs. Okay. How will you know that the patient's having ventricular fibrillation? Usually, you observe for three things. FSC, painting, shortness of breath, and then cardiac arrest. And then check on the ECG tracing. There will be no pulse. There will be no P wave there will be no QRS complexes. The ECG waves would be very, very chaotic. So therefore, what could have brought this? What can potentially lead to ventricular fibrillation? That's going to be heart attack, hypokalemia that could be secondary to uh, the administration of diuretics, and of course, genetic diseases, like for example, prolonged QT syndrome that could be associated with um, hypocalcemia, or the patient could be having Brugada syndrome, in which there's arrhythmia that leads to cardiac arrest. Okay, now pay particular attention to the fact that the first response for defibrillation is CPR. Sorry, the first response for ventricular fibrillation is CPR, and that's followed by your defibrillation. Now, there are several drugs that are given to the patient to restore normal heart rhythm, and you have three, BEA, vasopressin, epinephrine, and amiodarone. Now, amiodarone is usually the drug of choice. However, the alternative drug could be 
lidocaine. So your vasopressin, epinephrine, and mutarone usually be given in ventricular fibrillation to restore normal heart rhythm. So once again, focus on monitoring the ECG tracing and the heart rate of the patient. Okay, now we have your allopurinol or siloprene. Now this drug is used in the treatment of gouty arthritis. It's best taken after meals and usually with water. Now, what are the common side effects? Well, the patient would usually complain of nausea and vomiting. However, what are the adverse effects that you will need to report to the physician? Now, this includes the yellowing of the whites of the eye. So this is known as jaundice that could be related to hepatotoxicity. And then if the patient would have high fever or high temperature plus sore throat, suspect a granulocytosis, that's a medical emergency, you need to refer to the physician immediately. And if the patient is brushing the teeth and all of a sudden there's bleeding gums, so there, that could be associated with bleeding um, uh, adverse effects associated with the intake of the drug. So you need to refer to the physician, describe how the bleeding occurred. And then since your allopurinol could potentially cause or trigger diabetes medicus, the patient may be experiencing polyuria or frequent um, urination, so they frequently visit the comfort room. And most importantly, if the patient suffers from flu-like symptoms, plus the development of rash that could eventually um, lead to blindness, this is what we call Steven Johnson syndrome. Now, this rash-related condition could also be present if the patient is taking anticonvulsants for a prolonged period of time. Okay, so those are the things that you need to remember related to the drug allopurinol or siloprene. Remember, take it after meals and with water. Next, remember allopurinol is used to treat gout. And then of course, you have your sodium nitroproside or nitroprest. It's a vasodilator. So this medication is used to treat acute hypertension. And remember, it's only administered through IV infusion, it's usually given diluted in D5 order. And the most important thing that the nurse should remember, you always need to protect it from light all the time. It should not be given if the patient has vitamin B12 deficiency because your sodium nitroproside will affect the absorption of vitamin B12. So it will further make the situation worse, okay? So what are the common side effects? Remember your NDSH, so nausea, vomiting, skin rash, and then headache. Okay, those are the common side effects. However, what are the adverse effects that you will need to refer to the physician? Focus on the heart rate. So the heart rate could go up or down. So it could be unstable heart rate for the patient. And then since this is a vasodilator, it could potentially cause severe hypotension. So your priority vital signs would be the two important things, the pulse rate and then the blood pressure. Then the patient could have shortness of breath, chest pain, and decreased platelet aggregation, which simply means the medication can potentially cause bleeding, okay? So once again, if you're preparing for the next generation NCLEX, prepare with a technologically enhanced learning environment, which simply means it's not enough that you're using paper-based materials. You have to learn how to navigate through the next generation type of questions. And here at RA Gapus, our learning tools are published by world-renowned publishing firms. And of course, our latest product, please give us a call or text or an email to inquire how you can avail of the Ray Gapus course shells for free and join our event on June 25 from 8 to 12 noon and I'm, I'm giving away free next generation NCLEX review session with free material materials plus we will raffle we will raffle I'm sorry we will raffle 15 free access to our core shelves okay so the third and most important component of preparing for the next gen NCLEX is you have to be in a conducive environment here at the second floor of the Ray A. Gapus building in Yuan Avenue, we have our own NCLEX simulation room where our students can navigate through the different next generation NCLEX type of questions and experience 
real life procedures that simulates the NCLEX. And of course, our very intimate classes that are conducted face-to-face -face monthly. So may I invite you to join our next generation NCLEX RNCLEX, the most flexible test prep class for the NCLEX RN. The fee starts at 3,499. Give us a call at 0906-201-9383. Your choice of live face-to-face -face class, virtual class, on-demand and limited video recorded lessons, our Cuba plus our three books, next generation strategies and sample questions, and of course, the quick fix sessions that you will have with me. It's a total of 24 hours conducted in three days. So once again, this is your mentor, your fact check by the Ray Gapus, saying a functional concept a day turns your NCLEX RM fears away. See you in our next video.